okay so in this video now we will be talking about um, electrical network transfer function via nodal method no so um, as a review so we will have a review of a nodal no the nodal method now, for example we have here a circuit no? okay so we have a circuit here this will be our power source no this will be e sub one then we have here a resistor okay and another resistor here okay then we have here a resistor i guess no? so we just there is this line here we have another resistor over here okay then a source no which is a sub 2 no so we have here the resistances so this will be our r1 r2 and this will be our rl or the, our source no so as you can see a node is a junction no? a junction in which uh, the uh, the it is a junction in which the connections meet no for this one we have two junctions no so in order for us to get the nodal equation because we are going to get the nodal equation no so the nodal equation the number of nodal equation no so number Okay, the number, let's just write this one legibly. Okay, so the number, so the number of nodal equation, so we will call that one as N. No? So this will be equal to the number of nodes, so small n minus 1 for this instance so our n will be equal to we have two nodes no for example this is our node b and this will be our node a so we have two nodes so that would be 2 minus 1 so our number of nodal equation will be equal to 1 no so if we have a uh, we are able to determine the uh, the nodal equation now we will set a uh, node no? so for so for instance this is our node here so we we'll just have this one grounded, no? So we'll have this one as uh, we will put a voltage drop on this one as VA. So this voltage drop, no, or this voltage here at this node is much bigger compared to any other um, voltage, no, on the network, no. So then after that one, we will assume a current going to the node, no. So for this one, we have here I1. This one also we have here I2 and this one we have here our IL. No? So the sum of that one, the sum of our of our um, uh, of our uh, current entering the node A. No? So we will say uh, at node A. No? So the sum of those currents, so I1 plus I2 plus IL that will be equal to zero now this equation we will uh, we will have our currents in terms of the voltage drop uh, the voltage and the resistance so we assume that our VE is the largest not the largest voltage amongst the other voltage source so we will have this one for I1 so I1 we will have VA minus that will be VA minus E sub 1 over the resistance no? in between the two sources so that will be R1 then plus uh, VA no? VA this one here for this current so VA minus E sub 2 for this one okay. so that is for I2 over R2 plus the last one will be for the IL so that will be VA over RL then that will be equal to zero. So this will be our nodal equation. So as we determine, we have only one nodal equation because eh, that is two minus one. We have two nodes, but the equation will be equal to n minus one. So we have only one nodal equation. So that is how we are going to analyze um, circuits you know, using the nodal method. Now applying that one knowledge in getting the transfer function for the network. You know, for example, we have this electrical network here. No, so we have here um, a voltage source. No, 
we will just uh, place that one. Um, put that one over here. Okay. Then we have here a resistance. Okay. Then we have an inductor. No? Okay. Then another resistance. Okay. Then we have here a capacitor. Okay. So this will be our voltage source. So plus minus. This is a DC source. So this will be V of S. No. So uh, in terms of S, no, we have uh, we have already get the impedance, so the equivalent impedance or the equivalent Laplace transform of our given circuit, no? Okay, then we have here, this will be our R1, so this will be our L, no? L. No? So if we are going to get the transfer function for this one or the equivalent um, impedance, so this will be LS, no? And this will just be R2 and this will be 1 over CS. No? So C times S. Then we are going to get the this one here, the voltage over here. No? So this is our VC of S. No? So the question is we are going to get the transfer function. No? So find transfer function of mm, that will be the transfer function this has to be checked first here in the book so we have vc of s over uh, v of s no? v of s okay so we are going to get the transfer function of this one okay, so we just also do this one here so we just put that one in another folder so it will not be confused so that is not part of the circuit but only the voltage drop no? So plus and minus here. Okay, the solution. No. So first we will uh, have how many nodes? So this is our node A. This will be our node B. So we have two nodes. So meaning we will have only one uh, nodal transfer function. So assuming that this is the largest voltage drop, so this will be our VA. No. So we have here a current. No. A current. No. So maybe we have a current here. This will be our I1. Then we have here I2, no? which is also the current over here. And we have here our I3, or we shall say that one as I3. No? So we not assume that one as part of the current, no? the current for our um, I1, I2, and uh, I3. No? Okay, so next we are going to get the nodal no the nodal that one now for this one we will have here where's my pen so at node a okay so at node a node a so we will have that one as i1 plus i2 plus um i3 no okay Okay. I3 is equal to 0. So we have here VA minus um, VA minus uh, this will be V of S over R1 plus um, So plus V of A over LS, no? because that is the resistance, or that is the uh, resistance here, or the impedance over our uh, VA no? branch. Then we have here VA minus um, VCS, VC of S over uh, one over uh, one uh, over R two, no? because our VC of S is just over here, no. That will be equal to zero, no? Okay. Okay. So we will be uh, now. We are going to get 
the node no so so we have a node here c because we are going also to get the nodal no for in terms of vc of s no so our largest um, voltage drop here or our largest voltage will be vc of s so we have uh, we have a current here i2 and we have here a current also which we call that one as ic no? so we have ic plus i2 is equals to zero so our ic is vc of s over one over cs now for this one then plus our i2 is vc of s minus vl of s over r2 that will be equal to zero so we have two equations no so this is our equation one and this will be our equation two so we have a nodal equation uh, one nodal equation and a nodal and a node another equation uh, assuming that we have a node here at c to get the relationship between vc of s and va in terms of this branch here so i over cs okay now for that one we will create the uh, we will create a or we just simplify this one first no so we will have our um r1 no so our uh, our g1 no? so assume g1 so that is conductance so that will be 1 over r1 then g2 will be equal to 1 over r2 no? so this is to simplify everything so for our equation one will now become uh, va minus vc of s times uh, this will be r1 no? right so that will be r1 this is that one so that will be j1 no? so this will be j1 plus that one so that is um that is one over uh, VA no? so that will be VA over LS no? VA over LS plus so this will be VA minus VS no so this will be VS just check that one first this is VS so this is this is not VCS but only VS no okay so this will just only be VS so this will be VCS times our j2 is equal to zero now for the other one no? for the equation two so this will become here one. so this is this one here we just will become cs times vc of s plus so that is r2 so that will be g2 no okay there's that one what's happening to you so my PowerPoint is uh, somewhat going crazy. This is VC of S minus VA. No? So I use here VL. No? So this is not VL but VA. No? Okay. So VA times G2 is equal to 0. Now we'll be, um, we'll have this one in terms of the voltages. No? So for uh, we will uh, transpose um, we will just distribute first j1 and j2 no? so we have va times j1 minus v of s times j1 plus, plus va of uh, 1 over ls plus va times g2 minus vc of s no? times g2 is equal to 0 so trans uh, we are going to transpose Post, no transpose our vs here no? the term will have vs then we will be um, grouping together the term with va and also with vcs so we will have va times j1 plus 1 over ls plus j2 so this will be um this will be plus no a minus no? so this will be minus uh, VC of S so VC of S times G2 is equal to positive uh, V of S J1 so this will be our equation 1 now for 2 so we just um, group together the terms containing 
VC, VC of S and VA. So, our for this one here, our VA will just be negative VAJ2. Then, that will be positive um, VC of S times C of S plus J2. No? So, this will be equal to 0 and this will be our equation 2. So, for this one, we are going to create our matrix. No? So, the coefficients of VA, so we have here G1 plus J2 plus 1 over LS. That is for equation 1. For equation 2, that will be negative. No? So this will be negative J2. Then, for the coefficient of VC of S, so that will be negative. This will be negative J2 over oh no, negative j2 only then for uh, this second equation so that will be for the second equation that will be um where is that one okay so this one no? okay so this will be c of s plus j2 no? c of s plus j2 no? Okay. Then we have here this will be VA and VC of S. Okay, then that was, this will be equal to the constants. No, for equation one, that will be V of S times our J1. Then for equation two, that will be zero. Now using Kramer's rule, so we are going to get first the terms uh the the equation for v c of s no so v c of s is equal to so we are going to replace our um coefficient of v c of s so this part here so this is the v c of s is our v a with uh the constants no so this we will have a matrix which will be g1 plus g2 plus 1 over ls minus g2 uh, then we have VC of uh, v, v of S rather uh, not VC of S but V of S okay V of S no? times G1 over 0 then the original over the original matrix so this is Kramer's rule no? so G1 plus G2 1 over LS negative G2 negative G2 cs plus j2 now we are going to get the determinants on the upper and the lower um matrix no so we have here for the upper one so this is zero no? so we have only negative negative g2 times vc of s times g1 no all over so this one here will become g1 plus g2 plus 1 over ls times c of uh, cs plus j2 then it will be deducted by minus j2 negative times negative j2 okay so if we are going to simplify this further so we will have VC of S is equal to, so it will be positive, no? positive, positive J1, J2, V of S all over, okay, so maybe we could uh, expand this one, no? expand this expression, so that will be G1 plus G2, no, okay, so this is C of S now. We'll just copy this one and let be expanding this one further. Okay. So we'll just get the common denominator for that one. No? So we will have uh, G1 plus G2. Uh, that will be uh, G1 plus J2. No? So J1 um, LS plus G2 LS plus 1 over LS times cs plus j2 so, okay 
Then, this will be minus. So, that will be positive. No? So, negative, negative. So, that will be positive. So, J2 squared. Okay. So, this is... So, we could also have this one if you are going to get the... Ano, the LCD, no? So, we will have uh, G1, G2, V of S, no? Over. So, getting the LCD, so this will be G1, LS, plus G2, LS, plus 1, times CS, plus G2, minus G2, squared times ls or over ls so we could put our ls above so our um, vc of s is equal to g1 g2 times ls v of s all over okay so g1 ls plus g2 ls plus 1 this will be l no? l plus 1 times C of S plus G2 minus G2 G sub 2 squared times LS. So, getting the transfer function, so we just divide both sides of the equation by 1, uh, multiply both sides of the equation by 1 over Vs. So, our, our Vc of S over Vs, okay, that, because this is the required transfer function, will be equal to uh, ls g1 g2 all over g1 ls plus g2 ls plus 1 multiplied by cs plus j2 no? so this on this equation no? because we can already cancel our vc of s no? minus j2 squared times ls and this now will be our answer, no? Okay? So, that's, that's how we are going to use nodal in getting the transfer function of our uh, electrical network system, no? Okay? So, I hope you understand something in this video. And as always, enjoy learning.